All right, welcome to part 26 of the Paper Mario playthrough. Ready for a mini boss? No. No. Up. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm up. Oh! <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Who the hell is this goofy? Uh, it's um Spike guy. or Lackey Lester or Michael or whoever the fuck. He forgets oh. his name. <laughs> Michael FNAF. <laughs> 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 Hello, it's me, John. John Mario. <laughs> Guys, it's Josh Hutcherson. <laughs> His real name is, um, Stoop. <laughs> B B John Lakitu. Honestly, do not be afraid of this guy. He may have a lot of health. It doesn't really mean anything. Especially now, since I found the badge that lets me use two items at the same turn. Oh, oh really? That's what, was that what that was? Yep. I forgot about that, but it is really nice. <laughs> it sounds nice. Yeah, look at that. One turn and I already brought him down to 20. Yeah, you're, you're already almost like halfway. <laughs> almost, yeah. This guy's got nothing. You ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> yeah, and just let, and just pretty much generally for this chapter, just let all of your powerful moves attack because you always have a gateway to Toad Town right there in the central hub. So you don't have to waste any of your uh, uh, recovery items for anything. Look yeah. at that. Look at how fast that look at how fast this, this thing was, yeah. Done. Easy easy life. <laughs> yeah, we're Yeah. Go on, do your worst. Alright, time to kill a Lakitu. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna torture oh him. <laughs> oh god, he's got a wife. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. It's not Spike. <laughs> His real name's Lackey Lester, and they don't really go into depth with uh, the female Lackey right there. It's like their childhood friends or something but she has mm. feelings for him and well they have feelings for each other they're just too shy of course to admit it. <laughs> they're too shy to admit it yeah just confess you cowards <laughs> don't forgive don't women forgive. in my video game <laughs> <laughs> what women don't exist <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, I've tried there with the uh, don't forgive thing. I keep uh, selecting it over and over again. She'll still throw a spike ball at you every time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please forgive him. Imagine if it took her like... It's like you get a game over. <laughs> yeah, I was just keep taking away from your health. <laughs> That'd be hilarious, actually. <laughs> I could imagine Thousand Year Door doing something like that. That's the kind of writing that Thousand Year Door would have. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest name ever. Oh, he's coming with us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Horrifying. <laughs> Can you guys guess which is my least used companion in the game? <laughs> oh, is it, oh, this is the final com companion you yeah, really good? Th yeah, this is the final one in the game. Ow. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. <laughs> except, except, except you, like a luster. 
Yeah, you know, it's it's you know, it kind of reminds me of that one. Uh, you know that that my Family Guy meme where uh, everyone is putting their hands together, but then Peter says, "But no, 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 not not you, Shane." Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh and, yeah, we're yeah, all in I, this I, together. I, yeah, we're all in this together. No, 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 not not not, not you, not, like it, Lester. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the thing is, because they introduce him at this point in the game where, well, he's the last one, so we already have all the other ones, and we've been hit finding these blocks all around the game to level up our characters. So most of my party members are at level three right now. Lucky Lesser's at level one right now. So Ooh. he doesn't do a lot of damage in comparison with the others right now, and especially for uh, a little bit in this part of the game, more so for the next chapter. Um, the health bars of the enemies are quite larger than what we've seen up until that point. Mm. So he's not very useful to me. I'm sure people have found <laughs> some ways. To <laughs> 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 I'm sure people have found some ways to make him the most viable thing in the game, but no. No. It's my least used one for very good reason. He just really doesn't have any spectacular abilities either, unlike... What Bo and Watt, which, you know, are a little bit broken. <laughs> so, yeah. See, look at that. Most of them are at level 2. Some of them are already uh, at level 3, so... Yeah. Yellow is the new black. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? As you can tell, I am not showing him off. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't worth it. Oh, I think it's because the yellow mesh specifically gives uh, the enemies an electric charge, so if you do an attack, they get paralyzed, but it don't matter if you are electric yourself. <laughs> uh, <laughs> As you can't get paralyzed if you are what causes paralysis. Exactly. A broken spine? Perhaps. And... <laughs> yep, I'm dead. And dead. Easy fight. Happy. Yeah, that's the happy heart badge that I'm wearing. It gives me, uh, periodically, it gives me uh, one extra uh, health point. It, it may seem like a nothing badge, but I'm telling you, it means everything with the way that I'm doing my play style. Because uh, most of the time, when you dodge an attack with the build that I have, I only take one bit of damage every turn. And so just having an automatic recovery, even if it's just one health point, means that I just gained that <laughs> I gained that health point that I lost. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, so even so even one health point goes a long way. Yeah. yeah. I think that I think I think that can be like the fun of this game as well, just like mixing ma mixing and maxing badges to uh find a build that is suitable for your needs. <laughs> Because you only have so many badge points to go around, and so you have to figure out what exactly do you want and what exactly can go. True. Like, if you haven't noticed that power jump badge that I have equipped on, that's the very first badge you get in the game. It is the probably one of the best badges in the game. <laughs> 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 they just give it to you right off the bat. <laughs> and so I leave that one on, and it only takes two points to wear, so it's nothing. And it's great. <laughs> oh, he's zooming. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah, I've just. <laughs> I killed everyone in two turns. 
<laughs> well, one turn, <laughs> actually. Yeah. Yeah. Generally. OP, nerf. <laughs> Very. <laughs> Open 2 OP, please nerf. <laughs> Generally, I don't always follow this rule in this game, but generally, I only like to use my special moves or items or whatever for when there are about four enemies on on screen. Because I can usually take care of uh, three or less with just the basic moves, like jumping and hammers and whatever the yeah. companion has. Yeah. Because I don't want to, I don't really want to waste those items. I don't really want to waste that FP. But uh, when there are four on screen, I like to use the special moves. Because, uh, you know, <laughs> I have a considerable amount of FP at that time. Because <laughs> I've been saving it up. I am totally not a Resident Evil player. <laughs> <laughs> what gives you that idea? Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Man. I definitely don't hoard all my items until the very end of the game. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. what a lot of RPG players do. Yeah. yeah, that's fair. <laughs> like, I think I saw, I saw this one well, one video where it was like, you but, shut the uh, fuck up, Rosie. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck. How, how did it go again? Oh yeah, one one, one guy says you. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just gonna but, uh, use a specific item, but you can't buy the specific item. It's the final boss. But I only uh, have fifty two. <laughs> Will 52 be enough? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Will this be enough for the post game boss? <laughs> <laughs> Good question, I might, actually. I might need it for the super boss. You never know. Yeah, yeah, the super boss that that gives you an item that is completely useless because you already beat the game. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the point? And there's no new game plus. Honestly, I've been thinking about that, and um, you'll get to see it in this playthrough, actually, because there are uh, two super bosses in the game. Um, oh. But, uh, yeah, I'm not... Uh, I don't know, what what's the point of the super boss? I understand that they're um, more powerful than the final boss. I but, think... Uh, I, I, I think this is like a post-game challenge. I think the idea of a super, of a super boss in RPGs is to test the player of their of their skills and knowledge and strategies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they'll and they'll be rewarded with with you know excellent extra goodies and becoming very very stronger than they already are. I do like uh, uh, you know super super bosses when you know, when you can do them before the final boss. Because then it just feels a, lo a lot more more rewarding. Because yes, I worked hard. Now I uh, now I get the uh, now I get to finish the game easily. Right. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It would make more sense if you're able to do the final boss, or the game is set up in a way where you are unable to backtrack to anywhere. If that makes any sense. Um, like, the, like the the game has a uh, very specific point of no return, and whenever you boot up the game on the same save file, you're p put at like the last save at the point of no return. Mm. True. <laughs> That's actually uh, this game does that. Actually, there's a save point right at the point of no return, so whenever you boot up the same file, you just go to that point of no return. There is no post game really, at all, actually. Oh, uh, what's it called? Mega Man does that a little bit. Hmm. Uh, well, the Battle Network. Yeah, Battle where, Network, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Where you go back to, uh, to your last save file before the point of no return. But the way they do it is by actually making you fight the final boss to activate a trigger. Hmm. Where once you finish the final boss, a trigger will happen. So when you go back to your save file, uh, this I don't know exactly how it works because I just know it's a trigger. When you go back to the save file, where you're part, you're right behind the point of no return. You'll suddenly get a message like saying, "Hey, something weird is going on right over here," and you just kind of follow it. Hmm. 
So I mean, it's technically it's post game, but it doesn't like it. Yeah, it um like it recognizes no, that you've beaten the game. Yeah, it recognizes you've beaten the game, but there's like no new game plus. You just are back to last part before you. Uh, what's it called? You fought the final boss before you did the point of the return stuff. Is that like their way of like saying you can go back and play the previous stuff if you want to? Um. No, because like, uh, I did this mo with uh, Mega Man Star Force Three specifically, and how that one worked at least is like, you're you're at that crescendo. You're like everybody's like right there, willing to send you off into the final boss. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, once you beat the game and you go back to that point, because that, that's the point where no return, uh, you'll get a mail saying, hey, there's some disturbances uh, in this area. And then you fight, uh, what's it called, these, what's it called, these bosses called, which is like the previous bosses, but suddenly they have this R next to them, like, hmm. They're, and they're far more powerful than the regular bosses. Yeah, the so regular. so that's that's their way of doing their super bosses then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see that I one right there just feels like it's they added more content content for the sake of adding more content. Yeah, but you don't have to go back to it though because yeah, you, you don't. You, yeah, because you finished the game and you you can be like, yeah, I finished it. You can. I can stop. Prove yourself to be a master player. May yeah, that's probably like the point of super bosses generally, just for bragging yeah. rights. True. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know that was it called. I decided like a while back. I found this uh, ROM hack for Mega Man Star Force One called the DX Mega Man Star Force DX. Mm -hmm. And what it does is basically. Give you access to all three variations of the game's like super forms, because there's three variations of Star Force, uh, Mega Man Star Force. There's Pegasus, Dragon, and Leo, mm -hmm. and each one has like their own uh, super form. And what the X is just unlocks all of them for you. And not only that, it also has a second difficulty mode called Legend Mode, which makes the game just harder in general. Oh, I see. And I was like, I already beat a game on like it's a regular difficulty, so I I'm kind of curious how I would fare with this one. It also adds more bosses and more difficult bosses as well. Oh, jeez. So I'm like, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> if you want to be the super player and <laughs> do all that, yeah. You know, speaking of, in all fairness. <sighs> Star Force 1 was fairly easy. Like, it is a fairly easy game, at least like the base game. Mm. You would not have any di real difficulty with it. Go I'm ahead. Sp oh, speaking of, you know, my, you know uh, my, uh, doing uh, super bosses and, uh, and also having bragging rights. Yeah. A, a, a lot of RPGs also, also like I said before, they reward you with, uh, with uh, you know, great rewards for for uh, beating those bosses. Correct. Mm hmm Okay. So, Final Fantasy XII has has this super bo uh, super boss called Yeez Matt, and uh, from what I'm looking at, if if you go and prepare it, uh, the most it'll t it'll take you is uh, is around two hours to uh, to defeat it. But, um, uh, but here's the thing: after beating it, besides a lot of VXP, you don't get nothing. Really? All, uh, besides bragging rights, that's that's all you really get. I see. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, this probably has the same mentality as why people do like challenge runs in Dark Souls, just to say they can. True, true. I mean, I, I, I did a challenge run on, on Dark Souls before. Before. Yeah. What would that be? Uh, using only healing miracles and not my Estus. That one isn't too hard, though. No, it's not. It's not too hard. But, <laughs> now uh, play Dark Souls without getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> in all fairness, 
That sounds fairly just easy. It it, it is it, it, it is easy, but I mean I'm I'm saying that like it was it was the first time I've ever done a challenge run. Mm -hmm. So uh, so I but it, but I, I, I did get, it give me some trouble, but over, overall I did manage. Uh, there there was this one uh, one guy uh, Zero Lenny who who played through the entirety of Dark Souls using only a broken sword. Yeah, I mean, in all fairness, all you just need to be is very good at dodging. Oh, actually, and, and, oh, you were saying? Sorry. No, you can go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just gonna be very good at dodging and yada yada. Uh, I, I mentioned that yeah, that YouTube is zero lane again. Uh, Ethan, you remember when I mentioned uh, mentioned that guy to you? He's the same dude who played through the entirety of uh, Resident Evil Four uh, using only a knife and eggs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Something I yeah. personally would not do, but uh, at least <laughs> someone did it. <laughs> yep. So, uh, and, and, and when he reached the final final boss, he was stocked up on eggs, and uh, uh, yeah, he, he didn't even use the uh, the rocket launcher okay. that, uh, that, yeah. uh, that Ada threw to him. He just fucking used eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know how he did it. There are there really aren't that many eggs in the game. It's just like, but it's that's like a new game plus thing. Maybe. But, but nope. He he did all this on a fresh save file. Really? Wow. Yes. I am surprised actually. <laughs> yeah. No, okay. this, uh, yeah. This guy yeah. does a lot of challenge runs. On, but here's yeah. the thing: a challenge run is a lot of prep because yes, it's much for less. Sure. Than, yeah. Because. It, you will only do a challenge run on a game you know fairly well. Right. Yes. Because if you know what's called like with Dark Souls, I mean with Dark Souls 3, I could probably make like a fairly like only using the broken sword because I played the the game so many times. I know the most effective ways to just get past enemies I I know I can't beat. Exactly. Cheese some cheese some enemies off a bridge to get more souls. Kill the bosses. It wouldn't be hard. It, yes, I mean, it, it, I, I mean, it'll be a little more difficult, but you know the game like the back of your hand, so yeah. um, obviously you're gonna maneuver it a, a lot easier, a lot smoother. <laughs> yeah, it's the reason why I did the handgun level one handgun knife only mode of Resident Evil Four. I'm, mm -hmm. I would not do that for the remake though, because the remake has a uh, different uh, balancing uh, mechanic than the original. <laughs> I also want to appreciate we talked over one of the hardest chapter bosses in the game. <laughs> I mean, in fairness, we were on topic about yeah. like bosses. Like, yeah, it was it was great. Boxes. Yeah, yeah, it was great. It's like yeah, because like that 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 guy as a kid fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, yeah, like our topic was fairly well suited toward the. Uh, for one of the most annoying bosses. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I completely forgot about the boss. I was I was so into the conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It happens a lot. Yeah, and you know what? That's fine. I'd rather have that than just silence for a solid minute. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm.